you heard Jimmy Gang. Jimmy Gang, Jimmy Gang, the Army, the Navy, my boys. Yeah. Hood, rich, hood, rich, hood, rich, hood, rich, hood, rich, hood, rich. Look, man, today we here for some unfortunate events, but we got to talk about it, bro. Ugly God. Ugly God, the meme rapper. Y'all remember him right from like 2014, 15, 16. Ah, yeah, the meme rapper, bro. He caught a body, it looked like, bro. He bodied his his homeboy's pops. Like, we're going to get right to that, though. But before we get to that, man, can we get a fit check? Like, yeah, man, your boy. Listen, man, good penthouse drip. Can y'all see from here? Hold up. Good penthouse drip. Good penthouse drip on the body. Y'all niggas ain't never seen these before, man. That's good penthouse drip. You know what I'm saying? Gucci bag, Glock 43X in there. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get paid, so we're not going to show that today. You know what I'm saying? All white fours. Stop playing with me. I wore them, but they extra crispy, extra clean. Nigga, who keep this clean like me? Stop playing with me. Like, listen, we're going to start doing a fit check. Only when I want to, though. You know what I'm saying? We're going to start doing a fit check in here. Because I do be fly sometimes. Sometimes I do be having that shit. Even if y'all don't know about the penthouse drip, that's like what? 350 on the denim? And you had to have those. You had to be there three, four years ago when them, when they dropped. Because if you wasn't there, nigga, you can't get them no more. They don't even make them no more. Not this style, at least. But anyway, let's go, man. I know I done chatted it up with the fit check. Let's get right into Ugly God Body and his homeboy Pops. Let's go. What's up? I pull up and clean your daughter. I drip on your just like water. I splash on your with the water. Hop on the whip and go through. Nigga thought die go boom. I won't even break a sweat. I ain't even gonna lie. His verse on boom was nuts. I remember that. He had a fire verse on boom. I ain't even gonna lie. He's like, boom, boom. Hop on up to go boom. That joke was hard. I ain't gonna lie. I did drag this album a lot trying to get features and shit. I guess I'm not cool enough, you feel me? Like, like I'm not cool enough. This is a fall off thing. This is when he's falling off. I'm cool enough for them to post a picture and then they DM me and be like, hey, bro, comment on this. So I'm cool enough that if I comment on your shit, like, I'm cool enough for me comment on your shit. Makes you look cool, but I'm not cool enough for this. You feel me? Like, yeah, not that, yadi, bro. I'm that not is kind of corny. So you don't never hit me up. You don't never show me no love. You don't never comment on my pics, but when you post a pic, you hit me up like, yo, bro, comment on this pic. I guess that's what artists got to do. I guess that's how you get your engagement. Maybe I should start doing that. Like, all the niggas that I know in real life, like, yo, I just posted a pic. Go comment. Go like my pic. I wonder if niggas do that. I thought that was what females do. You see how females post on their story, on, on Instagram, their story? New picture up with a heart over the most of the picture. Like, so you go look at the real picture. Like, that's what niggas is doing in the real life, too. That's weird. Other niggas, y'all bro, like, me and him don't see y'all on some whole other shit. Do it, cause we're losing. Like, we're losing our youth, we're just, we're losing. Another shooting, another life lost to gun violence. 50-year-old Ronaldo Dalla Valade was killed in an Orange Grove shooting. He was shot multiple times behind the wheel of a Nissan. The blood-stained sedan crashing into a neighbor's car. Moments after the gunfire, an officer was on scene. Recently, there's been allegations <laughs> from a victim's family alleging that a rapper had allegedly shot his best friend father. Now, the family is livid. They provided the police report and the records to back up what they were saying. They're alleging that this rapper is apparently getting let off the hook because he's a family member of a judge. So without wasting too much time, family, we want to discuss who this rapper is, talk about the details at hand and these allegations and what the suspect family is alleging on Facebook. But first, remember, I don't give you no angle. I just give you the story. So with that being and say it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, man. We drop every day over here. If you like reaction videos, if you like original videos with original content, with a nigga just talking about what's on his mind, subscribe, bro. I'm coming to you daily. I don't know what this is on my face, bro. Damn, I did get into a little scuffle last night, but I didn't realize I had something on my face. I wasn't even gonna tell y'all about it. I might have to tell y'all this story, goddamn. Right, we're gonna jump right to it. Born September 1996 was Royce Davis Rodriguez, better known as Ugly God. Born in Fort Wayne, Indiana, Ugly God would be one of many rappers who would come up during the SoundCloud era in the late 2010s. He was best known for his 2016 song Water, which peaked at number 80 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart in 2017. He's also okay. with another rapper who made his way during the SoundCloud era by having a longer career, a rapper that go by the name of Lil Yachty. One of the tracks they have 
was a track called Boom, released five years ago with over 14 million views and counting. My mama, my mama told me don't forget about my roots. No. I just make out my comments, talk down, I'm gonna start that boy out of my roots. But after dropping the oh, that was my drop, I ain't gonna lie. I gotta put that back in my playlist because that song right there, I like that song. That song turned me up. Bruises a couple <laughs> years ago and selling less than 14,000 copies and going back and forth with one of the most talked about platforms in hip hop, DJ Academics. It seems he was going some form of depression. His fans was concerned. He went on social media after making a long disappearance and talked about how he was working on new music and changing his name. My, uh, New Planet. My bad, I look corny with my AirPods on, but I'm trying to talk to y'all. <coughs> you could tell something like a total different version of the rapper of himself. Like, when he was rapping, <coughs> he looked one way. Now he's like a nerd. Here, but I am trying to, I'm not trying to look cool, but I'm trying to look cool for talking to y'all from here. I'm changing my name, y'all know, from Ugly Guy. To just fail for one. I, I came here because, bro, I think whenever I be looking at the viewers and shit, she be making me get off live sometimes. And whoever tuning in, I don't. Yeah, they just fail. It's been a lot of shit. I, I mean, y'all can try to figure out. I mean, I wouldn't advise y'all to, but you can go comment and shit and say something, something ugly, guys. Sometimes your uh, your comment will get, you know, marked as, as bullying and shit. Like, my name is against TOS, so, like, by default, my ad name is like. Shadow ban. So uh, was it shadow ban when you had a hit song, buddy? Like niggas make all excuses in the world when things not going the way they want. Was your name shadow ban when you had like two hit songs off a of meme rap? Like was your sh was you shadow ban then? Like I feel like niggas be making excuses. I ain't gonna lie. Another thing I had to deal with, like I really almost changed my name. Like not really at the beginning, but sometime like really during my peaking, but I. They convinced me not to because I was peeking, bro. Come on, Roy, stop looking at the viewers. So, I don't know. With New Planet, out of respect, it's going to have, hopefully I get Yachty on it, you know. I love that nigga. I think we need him to do a part of, like, we not seeing eye to eye. We ain't seen eye to eye in, in, in a minute, but that's my, I love him to do it, but. Summer 16, I'm a, I want to put it on there just out of respect. And well, not out of respect, but. I did drag this album a lot trying to get feature shit, but right, as I'm not you can cool see, enough. he just. <coughs> I'm not mad at him for talking to his fans directly. Because talking to your fans directly is how you know you're a real one, when you actually can talk to your fans directly. But what I will say is. He just seemed mad, like, unsure himself at this point in time right now. Whatever he got going on, he seemed wild unsure, bro. No cap. Like, like I'm not cool enough to get a song by somebody, but I'm cool enough for them to post a picture, and then they DM me and be like, hey, bro, comment on this. So I'm cool enough that if I comment on it, like, I'm cool enough for me comment on your it makes you look cool, but I'm not cool enough for this. You feel me? Like, not Yachty, bro. I'm talking about other niggas. Yachty, bro, like, me and him don't see out on some whole other shit, bro, like, that's my, I love it. I'm talking about these other niggas, but like, I was trying to get features from a lot of. Do y'all do that, bro? Do y'all go? Do y'all go hit niggas up in y'all in y'all Instagram DM and be like, "Yo, go comment on my picture." I would never, bro. I got too much pride, bro. Like, I don't even tell niggas on Instagram to go to my YouTube and comment. I might post on my story like, "Oh, subscribe, new video, ah ah," but you're not gonna see me like. DMing people like, yo, go like and comment on my video. Like, nigga, no, because if you was going to do that, if you wanted to support me, you was going to support me. I'm not going to go push you and ask you to do it, because that's fake then at that point. I was, like, feeling deluded. I'm like, but how the fuck I'm going to come back? Not really come back, but how I'm going to come back and drop shit, and it has no features. At all. I mean, it has, like, you know, so, like, for I think I need a feature, but I'm like, bro, nigga, boo me. So I'm just going to unfollow all these niggas, bro. Everyone following me, I'm going to unfollow all y'all. But that was one of his last laugh. I'm going to stop it right there. But you guys get a feel of how he was feeling. Now, less than 24 hours ago, someone went to Facebook with this video you guys see on the screen. Justice for Ronaldo. It say stay tuned. Broken heart emoji. It say ugly God. Royce Davidson. M1, my brother. Right here at a home he pretended to own. It go on and say, I ain't never been scared. Not in me. I got you, big bro. They all lie. Now, she proceeds to showcase the house. She also wrote, picture of my brother dropping off his alleged M at college, Royce. Oh, and zoom in on the birthday picture. 
of the famous ugly guy, Royce Davidson, who admitted to shooting my brother. 6-29-2023, multiple times in the face. And she's referencing these pictures. This is ugly guy, second to the left, alongside the victim made rest in peace to the left. And this is the birthday. And so this nigga ugly guy was close with his friend's pops. His friend's pops dropped him off at college. His friend's pops is in mad pictures with him like... <coughs> I wonder how his homie feel about him, his his homie bodying his pops, bro. Picture she's referencing, as you see Ugly God to the upper right-hand corner and the victim to the bottom left. She also made this post, awareness video. Royce Rodriguez, Fio Rodriguez, shot and K, my brother, Ronaldo Reed DeValde, 6-29-2023. At 1009 Deborah Drive, Gulfport, Mississippi, while his mom and wife and two of his kids was home. And he claimed self-defense. Also was never booked in, charged or nothing. He free and being cocky like he got ups of point. Was my brother really a threat? driving away remember he never put his foot on the ground and he say i look like i ain't sleeping she posted his picture with a post on his picture i am my best friend dad as he was driving away from the rental property he shared with his wife and kids and yes i shot four times in the face and i had to make sure he was deceased hashtag and show he said i shot four times in the face is that what he just said what what? Hold up. <coughs> Kids. And yes, I shot four times in the face and I had to make sure he was deceased. What? Hashtag insurance loaded. Now from that post, it seems. Nah, what was the situation, bro? I four times in the face. I had to make sure he. That's crazy. Ugly God could have had a property that he let his best friend dad sleep in and it made it led to an altercation, allegedly. And this person also posted the alleged case report. You can't see the entirety, but you can see most of it. It had the date, Gulfport Police, case number, and also the date and time. It say on 6-29-2023, at the 11-10 hours, the suspect, Royce Davidson, shot the victim, Ronaldo. Later pointing out how he was shot in the face, they retrieved the small caliber handgun, and he was also shot while driving. May he rest in peace. And they also disclosed the location and the tag number of the victim's Nissan. One person dead and another behind bars after gunfire in Gulfport. It happened here on Deborah Drive off of Three Rivers Road. That victim has been identified as 50-year-old Ronaldo Della Valde. Noah Noble was at the scene, and he brings us the latest. We have to put a stop to it because... Bro, son bodied a middle-aged man, bro. Nigga caught a body on a middle-aged man. I got to know why. I got to know more. It's something to this story, bro. There's no way you hit the nigga four times in his jibs for no reason, bro. I, we got to know the story. What happened? Why? We're losing. Like, we're losing our youth. We're just, we're losing. Another shooting, another life lost to gun violence. 50-year-old Ronaldo Dalla Valade was killed in an Orange Grove shooting. He was shot multiple times behind the wheel of a Nissan, the blood-stained sedan crashing into a neighbor's car. Moments after the gunfire... And if you the neighbor, you tight. You like, so, not only did a nigga hit my car, not only did my car get hit by a random person, because you mad about that already once you find out your car get hit. Then when you find out the nigga who hit your car is dead. So how my insurance work? How this insurance claim going to work? Like, how am I supposed to get my repairs fixed? Like, somebody tell me what happens in this situation. Like, uh, the nigga who hit your car got shot, and so he dead. So now what do you do? Go in his glove compartment and get his insurance information? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just wondering. I'm, I'm wondering. Officer was on scene. Well, we were in the area pretty close, uh, and we were able to respond within minutes of the call. And I just wish we would have been here a little sooner. Another life also altered forever. The suspect, who police chief Adam Cooper says was detained immediately, brought to the station, and is cooperating with detectives. But the weight of the situation is felt even by those who stood by and watched the crime scene. It's heartbreaking because I, my heart goes out to the family. My heart goes out to the one that's deceased. My heart goes out to the one that's um, in custody because at the end of the day, nobody won. Like, it's heartbreaking because us as black people are losing our youth. We're losing the battle. So it's just like we have to stop. We have to stand up as a community and actually put a stop to gun violence. A plea so for nobody change gonna say what actually that this happened? neighbor hope. So nobody going to say why he shot him, though? Because he just said he had to shoot him. He felt like it was self-defense. But why? The nigga was in the car. He was sitting in the car driving. If he's sitting in the car driving and they didn't recover no handgun or nothing from him, why'd you shoot him, bro?
I want to know. Might save a life. In Gulfport, Noah Noble, WLOX. Now, she also made a post tagging Ugly God, stating that he did the obvious that we just mentioned, and mentioning that his uncle was a judge. And that's pretty much what his case and the situation stands today. But as we wrap it up, we do want to say rest in peace to Ronaldo once again. Word, man. Rest in peace to Ronaldo, man. He, we don't know what the situation was or why he lost his life, but rest in peace to that man, bro. He ain't deserve it. Like, matter of fact, let me not even say that. I don't know what happened. I don't know. He got shot four times in the face, though, bro. Like, I don't, I'm just saying, like, you couldn't, like, listen, man, Jimmy Gang, I'm going to leave it there. Y'all tell me what y'all think about that, man, and I'll see y'all in the next one, my boys. Everybody be safe. Keep one in their head, man. Things like this be happening in real life in real time, so make sure you on your P's and Q's and ready. You know what I'm saying? Staying dangerous. I'm gone. See y'all in the next one.